What's up world, it's Thousand with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to launch apps by making gestures on your status bar. This is a cool little exposed module from developer Mythos XE that allows you to swipe, tap, or long press on the top portion of your screen to launch any app. So you'll obviously need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed for this one, but I've got easy to follow guides on those prerequisites over at the full tutorial. Basically just head to the link in the description below this video and you'll find everything you'll need to get this gadget hack going. Beyond that, the first step is to head to the download section of your exposed installer app and search status bar gestures. From here, just tap the top result, then swipe over to the versions tab. Hit the download button on the most recent entry here, and after a few seconds, the installer should come right up. So tap install here, then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from exposed that tells you the module needs to be activated and a reboot is in order. Just tap the activate and reboot button on this notification and exposed will take care of the rest. Okay, so now that we're back up, the next part will be done through the Status Bar Gestures app itself. Go ahead and open the app from your app drawer, and you'll see a list of all the available gestures that can launch an app. Just tap the drop-down menu beneath one of these entries, then select Launch App. There's also an entry for Launch Activity, but that option is not yet available at the time of this recording. But for simply launching an app, you'll just need to select the app that you want this particular gesture to open. When you've done that, you can repeat the same process for any of the gestures that you want to have launch an app. Then, down at the bottom of the screen, there's a few options. You can hide the icon from the app drawer, and you can disable the vibration feedback that occurs when you perform one of these gestures, but that requires a reboot. The third option is not yet activated at this time. But let's see this thing in action, right? So far, I've noticed the swipe gestures have been a bit harder for me than the tap gestures, so there might be a bit of a learning curve here, but they all work as advertised. And since the status bar is almost always visible, you now have instant access to a set of your favorite apps. Pretty cool, right? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.